Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for January 4th, 2014. It's currently 10 a.m. and it is brutally cold out there this morning with temperatures ranging from minus 2, that's 2 degrees below zero, all the way up to the warm spot of 13 degrees in Philadelphia. Yes, that is the warm spot. It is brutally cold out there. Earlier on, temperatures were around 0 degrees in Belmar. We've warmed up to a balmy 9 degrees. The good news is that we will be warming up throughout the day with temperatures in the mid to upper 20s throughout the region by this afternoon. Unfortunately, with that warm air, will be the threat for fog developing tonight and some freezing rain showers tomorrow morning. On the latest radar from IntelliCast, you can see we have pretty much high and dry conditions throughout the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. We do have an Arctic cold front approaching that will move through tomorrow evening through Monday morning, producing periods of rain and periods of snow by Monday afternoon. On the latest water vapor satellite picture, here's our storm lifting up into the Canadian Maritimes from yesterday. It's exiting. Goodbye. See you later. However, see this high pressure system shifting to the east? If this high pressure system was, let's say, around Maine, we'd have a far greater significant threat for icing with this advancing cold front and the warm air ahead of it. However, because the high pressure system is shifting due east towards the Atlantic, that's going to support southwesterly winds from the surface all the way up into the mid-levels, leading to a gradual steady warm-up from now all the way on through tomorrow evening. So yes, it's very cold right now. You might be wondering how is it going to get above freezing for much of this rainfall that will set up by tomorrow evening. And the reason why is because we have a southwesterly flow at all levels of the atmosphere from the surface to the upper levels supporting the changeover or the warm up of this very cold air mass. Which is great news because I could deal with snow, I could deal with rain, ice I cannot deal with. It's just nasty, it's not good. So it's very good that this high pressure system is shifting to the east. And we are seeing that very nicely in our mid-level temperatures. This is at 850 millibars. You can see that southwesterly flow at all levels of the atmosphere that will drive this Arctic air out of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area. Now with this warm air, you'll also see the potential for more moisture in the atmosphere, which is going to lead to threat for the potential for some scattered showers by tomorrow morning along with the locally dense fog. Unfortunately, temperatures will still be below freezing. So those rain showers will be freezing rain showers. Now, I put out a map here. Now, this does not mean widespread freezing rain. What this is basically trying to illustrate here is that where those showers develop tomorrow morning throughout the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, there will be potential for that, freezing rain, for that rain to freeze. And... Initially, I'm looking up to about a tenth of an inch of freezing rain anywhere in these in this light shading here. This is where temp temperatures excuse me, will warm up above freezing first by mid-morning, let's say about 9 a.m. In the purple shades, I'm going up to a quarter inch, and it could be some isolated amounts over a quarter inch and some heavy downpours with these showers. Again, not widespread, but wherever these showers develop tomorrow morning up until about noon, will be capable of producing a nice glaze of freezing rain. Where that exactly is going to happen? Well, I can't pinpoint a shower specifically for tomorrow morning for a location. Not got that good enough. I know some claim they are, but I am not, and I'm not going to try to play it off like I am. So, anywhere in this location, Scranton, Wilkesbury, Allentown, Reading, Lancaster, York, Hartford, um, portions of the, of the Hudson River Valley, Sussex, New Jersey. Be on guard tomorrow for some slick roadways. And if you see rainfall tomorrow morning, beware that is freezing rain and travel will be treacherous tomorrow morning, along with the poor visibility with areas of fog that I'm expecting as well. So it's going to be a bit of a slick, uh, dangerous morning commute if you're going to church or have any activities, going to football games, whatever. It's not going to be pretty uh, tomorrow morning. The good news is that all locations will warm up above freezing by noon, and then you'll just have to deal with the steady rainfall that will approach with the cold front. So here is the latest model guidance 
from the European model via the Penn State eWall website. So on the Penn State eWall website, you can see as we head towards this evening at southwesterly flow at all levels of the atmosphere, as that cold air gives way at the mid levels first, at the surface it's going to stick around for a bit longer until tomorrow afternoon around noon. So here comes our cold front advancing. Precipitation will break out ahead of the cold front in the form of scattered showers. On Sunday night, periods of steady rain will move through the region. The problem is that by Monday morning, that Arctic cold front is moving through. Temperatures are going to crash on Monday morning. So basically, Sunday, look for your high in the mid to upper 40s around midnight. Monday, look for your high in the mid to upper 40s around midnight. And then temperatures fall straight on through the day on Monday through the 40s, 30s, and 20s. Unfortunately, behind that cold front, there will be lingering precipitation. And that precipitation will fall in the form of snow. So there will be a potential for some light snowfall accumulations, a trace to two inches, nothing crazy I don't think at this time. But there will be that transition from rain to snow with temperatures steadily falling throughout the day on Monday. So your temperatures on Monday morning will be warmer than they will be when you're coming home on Monday evening. As temperatures continue to crash, another Arctic air mass will take hold. And on Tuesday and Wednesday, very cold temperatures will be in place with temperatures struggling on Tuesday in the mid-teens. Wednesday, we warm up mid to upper 20s. Now, the good news here that I want to share with you is that after this brutally cold air mass moves through on Tuesday, we will start to warm up. We go into what's traditionally called our January thaw. Now, there will be a potential on Thursday evening into Friday morning of a weak area low pressure that will move to the south and east of Cape May. This low pressure system will produce some light snow. I'm looking at anywhere of like a one to three inch type snowfall, if that, over the northern interiors. As you head towards the coast, you have to watch out right along the coast, right along the New Jersey coast, for some enhancement of that snowfall as that northeasterly wind comes off the Atlantic and you still have cold air in place. So for right now, looking at a light to moderate snowfall along the immediate coast, very light snowfall over the interior. Thursday night into Friday morning, that low pressure kicks out, and that's kind of the signal change. The last real disturbance before we start to go into our January thaw, which, by the way, is completely normal. We see it every year, and every year we have somebody running around saying winter's over. Winter's not over. Consider this, much like football terms, winter halftime. Get out the Gatorade, relax, stretch out a little bit, work out some of those swords and joints. Uh, as you get ready for the second half of winter. So we have that warm-up gradually take place. The polar vortex lifts further north. We warm up steadily. And by next weekend, we'll be pushing off into the mid to upper 40s. And yes, by the start of early next week, we could see temperatures in the 50s. Just think about that as you're sitting outside with zero degree weather. So yes, we are going to warm up. We will have our winter halftime, our little winter thaw. Uh, don't get used to it too much. I do expect that winter pattern to return late January. But between now and next weekend, we'll see a nice moderation trend finally take hold for a little bit. Well, that is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and NYNJPA Weather on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.